Hello. Our app is current like this, and of course we want to do a lot more, but now we, we are going to change a lot in the UI. Like I want to have this as a dark theme, not like this blue. I would like to have probably this as a, a grid, you know, like with columns and rows. And I, I want to change a lot, but right now when I go here, let's see, like we find these modules. And if I change here to like modules two, let me open my console here. Oh, sorry, I am in the production one. Let me open my local one. Then first I need to run. I have the runner that I have created here. Then it's going to run. When I don't provide any Mongo, it's going to run my local database. But I have the Mongo here as a variable then it's not going to use my like me trading bad database just going to use my local database in my machine but let's wait but the idea in this video here is to show you how to use meter in a non-final version because meter right now it's developing the version 2 that's going to include some nice features like free deploy and other things, but the feature that I want to use right now, because I'm going to do a lot of UI changes, it's going to be this one. Right now, I'm recording this on January 16. Maybe when you watch this video, this version of Meteor will be already published, but right now it's in the beta 9. Then I need to use the beta to be able to, to use hot module replacement. So my app is going to refresh much faster and without losing the state. Well, let me see. Oh, my database is not running. Uh, we can we can use like the local database or you can use this database. For this example here, I just I'm going to just run meter here, and then you can see. Or I can even run here if you don't want to use the database. You can just remove this because I don't want to start my database now because I'm not going to use it. Then I'm just going to remove. Okay. Sorry, and run again. Then Meteor automatically is going to use my local database, like embedded in Meteor. And we're going to just, yeah, Meteor just start my database because I'm not going to use the database. I, what I want to show you is that like modules two here, then let me show my console. Let me close this. Then I'm going to change again to modules. Oh, sorry, modules one and if you see my page is going to refresh my whole page is going to refresh okay now if i if i look here the version that i meet the meter of i'm running as you can see in this file here i'm running this version i'm at a few versions behind but i'm going to go straight to the new beta uh, meter update then this is the regular update if I do like this I can do then you can see what happens it's going to go to the latest final version but as, but as you can see in the meter website the final version is the version let's see install is this version but I want to use the 2.0 beta but first let's go to this version and you can also see all the changes in meter like here and then we are going to this version. Okay, this version was released this year. Okay, it's updated. It's saying like there is a patch that's probably a dependence of another patch that is not a, not compatible, but it's okay. If you hear some noise, uh, we are, yeah, I have my, a dog here that is sleeping and that's the noise. I can show in another video or you can follow me on Instagram at Flip Nebula and there I put more like personal live posts on Twitter is the same. It's Philippe Nevelo, but on Twitter, I, it's more a professional social media for me. But if you want to see Mimosa, it's her name, you can check on Instagram. Okay, then I have updated uh, Meteor and Meteor also updated some packages for me, but I, I want to go to the final version, like to the beta version, it's not even final. Then I need to put like this, dash dash release, and then I can put 2.0 beta 9. Then Meteor is going to use this beta version. 
Uh, and again, like if you just put meteor update, it's not going to get this version today, but I am recording because you are watching the future. Probably when you record in the future, 2.0 will be already the final version. But if it's not, you can check in this PR. And if it, this PR is still open, then you can see like how to watch the late, latest beta available. So, okay, now we are in the latest version. Like we have a lot of patches here, but let's run Meteor in the new version. Just to make sure our app is still working. Usually on Meteor, we don't have breaking chains, but it's always good to check your app. We are also upgrading Node.js here. Maybe I would need to install my dependencies again because it's a new version of Node, but let's see. Oh, I should do use the runner because if you remember in the runner, I'm using this, then Mitchell is not building legacy in Cordova. But okay, next time I can do it. Okay, let's refresh. Yeah, it's still working. That's very good. Uh, it's still working. Then let's see how can we add the hot module. Like you just need to add a package. And the package name is hot module replacement. You can see the, the instructions will be added to the document, but for now you can get here. And with this package, you should see a new message here, and then you can update your, your app much faster. Like if you don't want to update your app definitely, like you can just not come to these files, but at least in development you can use. But again, I think it will be in the final when this video is available to you. Then I'm going to run using this just because it's faster to exclude these architectures. But we should see, yeah, this is the hot module replacement server. Then there is another, like it's a small service that's running on my machine to update just the specific files. This is a feature from React, but we also have for you and we have many different frameworks that are implementing this feature. Then now, if I change my modules here, can you see hot module replacement is connected? Then if I, re if I change this again, I should not see a full reload, but just this part should change. Yeah, I think the first time it's a little bit slower, but if I change again, I think it's going to be very fast. Yeah, can you see? Let me put side by side here. Because the first one, I think it's still uh, warming up, but like now, if I do any change to my I'm going to hit save again. You can see the asterisk in, in the top and boom, it's pretty fast. And it's not for like dumb change like this. You can do whatever change you want. And if you break something, let's try this. It's the first time that I tried this, but let's see. I think if I broke, break something here, I'm going to see, oh, this is just a wrong HTML. Let me see how can I make a code that is definitely wrong with this. No, but this is just a runtime error. No, I would like to see like a syntax error. How to produce a syntax error here? Hmm, not sure. What I could do, like make this a syntax error. Yeah, I think this kind of error, we have another patch that you can add that is pretty new that we are going to see the error here. I think it's dev error overlay, but let's see if I have here. Like when you use a framework or a build tool like Meteor, in this case, we're using both. It's very helpful if you know how the community uses the GitHub and how to communicate. Then that's why I'm showing you also I'm navigating here. But I think it's dev error overlay, but you can try it. Like there is no problem. Like Meteor and dev error overlay because I want to see the errors in the UI. So I don't need to watch the console all the time if I have an error. Because remember now we are not going to see a full refresh then maybe you are expecting an update and the update is not there because there is an error. Then let's see, let me s Okay, it's updated here. And uh, let's see here. I will kill the app and start again. And I will go to a valid state again. Then you can do the test again. And let's run. Because as this patch is like producing like this overlay, we are going to see like something here, I believe. Let's wait a little bit. First, it's going to work because I fixed the code. 
but I would like to see the errors here. But I'm not sure like what kind of errors we are showing the overlay because this is it's pretty new. Yeah, this kind of error is, is what I would expect. Now, even if my dev tools is closed, I can see. And that's helpful because as I'm not waiting for a page refresh, like in this case, I'm just like changing text in a very like dummy way, then it's very easy to see that the text was changed or not. But think about if you are changing like some actions to update your state and maybe you commit a mistake and the update's not there. Then you're going to test, 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 but the update's not there because your code is broken. Then it's helpful to have this error overlay because even if my dev tools are not ready, I can uh, not like load in here. I can see my logs in the browser. Then this is very helpful and it's pretty cool. Like this was the video to show you this. In the next video, we are going to do a lot of layout chains. And that was why I chose this point to use hot module replacement. Then we can see the chains without losing the state. Like if I open something here and if I change here, you can see this is still open. But if I was using the old way where I would have a full refresh, I mean, losing the state. Okay, then that's very nice and very good for you to develop fast. That's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to create a grid and we are going to start to do some layout things. And just so you know, uh, maybe this week or in the worst case, I hope the next week, we're going to have already like a version that's acceptable. <laughs> then we can start to reuse and you can create your account in the website and you can start to upvote. That's the goal, like in about two weeks, after this video that you're seeing today, to be able to navigate the website, upvote some topics, and then I will start to record the real videos, like the content videos and not just this special series of making off. And that's the plan. Uh, I hope you like it. Subscribe here. And if you want to understand why you are hearing these sounds, like follow me on Instagram, then you can see Mimosa as well. She's a very nice dog. See you.